I'm married to a non-believer. What do I do? Please help. And I'm going to tell you that I got all kinds of questions on this one right, on, on this one right here. In fact, one person said, uh, I'm, a, I'm a devout Christ follower, and I would never consider divorcing my, my husband. But I have considered killing him many, many, <laughs> many times. <laughs> but never divorce. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> but in all seriousness... My heart broke when I read so many of your questions. This is a very complex and painful question to address here today. And and let me just say this to anybody that's here that you are considering marrying somebody that is not a Christian. The Bible gives you a great warning about doing so. In fact, it says that it's actually cruel to join a believer and a non-believer together. And if you don't believe me, I'll send you a dozen people's email addresses that will try to convince you of the truth. But you don't want to do that. Now, for those of you that you did write in that question, I'm going to tell you that my... To say that my heart is breaking for the situation, some of you described in great detail what is happening. And I've just made the decision that I'm not going to answer that here on the platform right now. It's too complex. It's too painful. Too painful. Um, But what I am going to do is I'm going to let the Bible speak to you, and then I'm going to give you a book recommendation. And so if you are taking notes, you you may want to write down 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 1 through 2, and you may want to read that a little bit later on today. And then the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, And if a believing woman has a husband who is not a believer and he is willing to continue living with her, she must not leave him. For the believing wife brings holiness to her marriage and the believing husband brings holiness to to his marriage. But if the husband or wife who isn't a believer insists on leaving, let him go. In such cases, the believing husband or wife is no longer bound to the other, for God has called you to live in peace. And now verse number 16 is the key. It says, don't you wives realize that your husbands might be saved because of you? And don't you husbands realize that your wives might be saved because of you? And I just want to say this today. I'm praying for you. And I'm not just saying those words. I'm telling you, I am praying for you. I know that what you're going through right now is very painful and it's very complex, and and I would like to recommend a great book for you to pick up and read, and it's it's called Surviving a Spiritual Mismatch by Lee Strobel, and I would would really pray that that book would be able to speak to you in your situation, give you some practical steps for you to take. 